Chris here coming to you with my first in real life commentary and today I'm showing you my new website for the Nine Lashes Band, a rock band that I've been listening to for about three years now. So yeah, let's jump right into this. Alright guys, here's part one, the code, the most fun part for me. I honestly don't know why I'm showing you guys this because it might not make sense to most of you, I guess just kind of like proof that I did it. So yeah, um, you see my files right here. This is folders within folders within folders. If you go into one of them, you see, it just keeps going into folders with more and more code. So I'm just gonna bring you the first page, the code for the first page. So yeah, we have about 78 lines here. Again, this this makes this probably makes no sense to you. Yeah, this is all my code. I know CSS, HTML, JavaScript, and I also did this in jQuery as well. So yeah, I guess that's the code for my website. And before we jump into the actual website, I'm going to tell you guys, it doesn't work on all browsers, so there are going to be minimal problems, which I was too lazy to fix. But you know what, for the sake of this commentary, I'm just going to show it to you anyways, even though there are, there are some problems. So yeah, I'll meet you there. Alright, here's the fun part, the actual website. Excuse my Skype, that's the Roman folks. But yeah, let's, um, I just closed the Google tab. Let me open a new tab. Pick this out. Um, Alright, so let's drag the index into here. And as you can see, this is the website. I'm gonna full screen this real quick. Alright, as you guys can see, well, you probably can't see yet, let it load for a second. It has some loading time on it. There we go. Um, it plays a video in the background as the landing page. I think that's pretty attractive because not many websites, well, I, didn't, I haven't seen a lot of websites that has a video, one of their music videos playing in the background for the first page. And as you can see, you can click on the screen to mute and unmute, as you can see, well, as you can probably hear if I click it, music will play. So yeah, I think that was a pretty cool feature. And um, I made their sponsors, sponsor logos pop out, and their social media. If you simply click on one, it'll link you to the page, of course. So yeah, let's just jump straight to the homepage. If you click on the logo, it'll bring you to the homepage. And again, as we're going into this, there will be some problems. That's easily fixable, but again, I'm too lazy to go in and fix it, so. Yeah, here's the homepage. If, if it'll load. Alright, so as you can see, we have some of his albums just rotating here. This is done in JavaScript. It was a plugin. I did not code this. I'm not I'm not that much of a genius. So yeah. Um you have the navigation bar right here, which looks pretty attractive, I think. Um if you hover over the navigation menus. It'll pop up and underline blue color, the blue cyan color that matches the logo. And also, if you enter your email in here, you'll get a newsletter sent to you. Yeah. And a little notification bar right here. That's one of the errors. It's supposed to have a button that directs you to all the notifications. But yeah, as we're scrolling down, here are some more errors, all the alignments of the videos, but. Never mind that. You can play the videos from here. You can click on it to get to the actual video. You can full screen it, do whatever you want to do. And right here is a sidebar where you can easily click and play their music from their newest album for free. That, link, that also links to Spotify, so yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Scrolling down, I made a new section, but they don't have much to use, so I had nothing to put in here. Alright, this little bar right here is the sponsor bar and my logo because I felt like putting my logo in it. And of course, it pops out once you highlight over it and it links to the page if you click it on a new tab. So, yeah, and right here is a count bar that. Here, let me reload the page so you guys can see. Load, load, load. 
And make sure you guys tell me your comments about this. Because I really don't know. I didn't really get many opinions on this website. Because it takes so long and people don't care. Yeah, anyways, um, you guys can see the count bar now. You can see it. You can see it now. There we go. It's counting up to the amount of Twitter followers and YouTube followers they have, and it also links to their page, which I accidentally clicked. And I have to wait for the homepage to load again. So yeah, anyways, guys, that's the homepage, and it just has the footer at the bottom, which it's gonna take forever to load up. There you go, there's a footer. Alright, so let's move on to the bio page. Alright, so this is the bio page. Another minor error. I couldn't get this to go full screen, but this this slideshow transition took a long time to do. You could also click on these buttons to change the picture. And yeah, right here is their bio. And the footer at the bottom. So yeah, pretty simple page except for this nice header over here. That took a while to do. Moving on to the shows. The shows of course shows the recent shows upcoming and tickets and stuff you can get and the footer at the bottom. So yeah, pretty simple page. From now on it's just mostly a copy and paste and just replacing stuff. So yeah, going on to the contact page. Basic a basic contact page except for this map right here, which you can navigate to wherever they are located to just say hi and stuff. Yeah, you can enter all your contact info and here and submit it and stuff. All that good stuff and another footer at the bottom. So yeah, that basically consists of my website. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just a little to come. I'll be coming out with a bunch more websites and more commentaries like this if you guys want, you know. So make sure to leave your opinions on the bottom. Leave a like and comment and I'll see you next time.